John, 56, severely compromised, a stroke victim. I was very active all my life. I was good in high school, I was good in college, and then when I had the stroke, I couldn't add two plus two. Not only was I laying in the bed and couldn't move, I couldn't think. Somebody would set a glass down on my right side. I couldn't remember two minutes later that it was there. The neurologist says if the stroke is not improved by three months, that's the end of the line. Take the patient home, put him in a nursing home, keep him comfortable. Now this is where we enter the picture with neuro rehabilitation. My wife decided to bring me into here to try to get me to where I was, be, could move around a little bit more. Because on the second stroke, I wound up in a, in a wheelchair. Dr. Neubauer never promised me anything that he didn't deliver. He told me what was going to happen when I got here. He didn't tell me I was going to walk. He just said my brain would get, brain cells would, would start reviving, which is what they did. After the hyperbaric oxygen treatments, I was able to walk and do the things that I wanted to do. Alexandra, at three and a half, is hit by a truck and thrown 80 feet. She's in a coma for over a month. The doctors had painted this dismal picture, and I needed to try whatever I could to give my daughter an opportunity to turn around and have a life again. We strive to improve the quality of life in these patients. We deal with desperate situations, frequently patients in an apolic or vegetative coma state. We have no miracles. We don't want people to come here thinking that we can cure them. We want people, the families, just to come with an open mind. The turning point, I believe, in her recovery was the hyperbaric oxygen. At the end of the first week, my daughter spoke. She spoke a word Saturday uh, after being at Neubauer's facilities for six days. Uh, the middle of the next week, she started to walk. Um, it was just, it was tremendous. <laughs> and got better and better and better. I just thank God for Dr. Neubauer and for having the knowledge or to take the chance on these kids because they do matter. Five-year-old Summer Reeves is one of those children who mattered to Dr. Neubauer. Summer was developmental delayed. We had a lot of diagnoses. We had autistic behaviors. We had epilepsy. We had a mild case of CP. They um, ordered an MRI on her brain and it showed that several areas in the brain were deteriorating. Summer has mitochondrial dysfunction, specifically Lay's disease, which is the degeneration of the central nervous system. She suffered from seizures, hypotonia, insomnia, poor motor coordination, and autistic behaviors. She didn't speak, was developmentally and cognitively delayed, dependent on others for feeding and clothing, and had poor attention. But she's just one of the many patients given a new lease on life because her parents were willing to try hyperbaric oxygen therapy. After eight treatments, um, I was going to sit down and feed Summer a bowl of cereal like I always do. And she grabbed the spoon and said, Mama, I do it. And she, I said, well, fine, you do it then. After about 15 treatments, she was pulling a little toy dog around, which was something that we had been working on that she couldn't do. Um, she's going up and down steps, I mean, it's just, her speech is just <laughs> unbelievable. She can say just about anything that she wants to. Summer's progress has been constant since she started receiving therapy at Ocean Hyperbaric. I think this is going to be her cure. New hope for a mother and her child thanks to Dr. Neubauer and his pioneering vision in hyperbaric oxygenation. Dr. Richard Neubauer is a health visionary. He's a 21st century medical hero because of what he does to enhance the lives of so many people. I mean, I can see the potential value for the use of this. I think it's got great opportunities if, if we take advantage of it. I would still be laying in a bed, a vegetable, at this point, if I was still alive. And uh, the center turned me around so that I could have a life again. It continues to work even after you go home. We didn't notice changes uh, only here. We noticed them after we got home. And uh, our family notices changes after we got home, several weeks after we got home. And uh, that's why we came back for more. Dr. Neubauer is the only doctor who's really followed up. And we've heard from his office 
yearly to see how Ali was doing. And he was just great. He was there. Without faith, um, you can't get anywhere. Hyperbaric and the therapy, if we would have stayed with what the doctors had originally told us, right now we wouldn't be here. A South Florida police officer overcoming a horrific ordeal after he's blinded by a bolt of lightning. There was nothing that they could do for me. There was no treatment for what I had. But after months of experimental treatment, a miraculous recovery. Most doctors said he would never see again, but one specialist refused to give up hope. And now tonight, as Michelle King reports, this officer has now received the best Christmas gift he could ever have hoped for, the gift of sight. July 18th, off-duty Miami-Dade officer Carlos Torres was working in his nursery when lightning struck. It temporarily paralyzed him and slowly robbed him of his sight. I gotta thank the Lord that I'm alive, and that's, that's the most important thing right now and hope that uh, my vision will somehow come back. Doctors couldn't explain why Torres couldn't see. Last thing I was told was that uh, there was nothing that they could do for me. There was no treatment for what I had. The worst, not being able to see the faces of his wife and children. The most difficult thing was realizing that I couldn't see my children anymore. I couldn't look at them and see them physically. And that was probably the most devastating thing. But after seeing our reports, Dr. Richard Neubauer thought he had the experience and technology to help. He ordered a spec scan to show Torres's brain function. And it showed clearly that he was suffering from a what we call a cortical blindness. That is, the occipital cortex in the brain, which controls vision, was hypoperfused, was not getting enough oxygen. A hyperbaric chamber delivers oxygen to body tissues that can't get enough of it. Carlos spent the next few months here getting six treatments a week in this hyperbaric chamber, two times a day. December 6th, a breakthrough. What I saw the day I, I started seeing again was these two holes here, and these two holes are the speakers for this particular chamber where you can hear music or the television. Then his vision got clearer, and today it's better than ever. This Christmas season, he compares his life to a popular holiday film. It's like uh, the old story of James Stewart and The Wonderful Life, because there have been so many people good to me and my family, and so many people I need to thank. It's Christmas, isn't it? Best president I could ever receive. Norma says ever since her husband has gotten his vision back, he wants to read everything, do everything, including going back to work. But even Carlos says that he'll go back to a desk job with the Miami Police Department because he doesn't want to tempt fate. He thinks he's already used up one of his nine lives. In Lauderdale by the Sea, Michelle King, 7 News.